happened? Did Timaeus almost fall off the cliff? Uh, well, so what actually happened was I came to Star Snatch Cliff today to pick some flowers and ran into Mona on the way. She took a look at her scry glass and advised me to turn back because it would be dangerous. But you still came up here anyway? Well, yes, I did, because there's something I just had to do. Oh, I hardly think giving flowers to your crush is worth throwing one's life away for. It's rare to run into someone with a death wish in this area. I don't have a death wish. I just uh, didn't think it would really come true. I mean, when Mona said it would be dangerous, I, I thought I'd be fine as long as I watched my step cautiously. I I'm sorry, okay? I, I was wrong. I I'm telling you, I'm just here chasing the love of my life. Love struck Mondstadters is what the Windbloom Festival is all about. Okay, that explains you. But why is Rosaria here? I was looking for a quiet place to escape the crowds. I wasn't planning on having to save a life along the way. So that's why the Scryglass just showed danger instead of fatal danger. <laughs> Very funny. Anyway, uh, Traveler and Paimon, uh, what brings the two of you to Star Snatch Cliff? Just trying our luck. We've got a lot of people we need to see today, so we've been all over the place. Actually, you're some of the people we were looking for. Huh? Huh, I see. So, all we'll need to do is find some clues, make a note, and drop it off at the mailbox? I, I can't believe there's a prophecy like this, it let alone that I have a part to play in it. Oh, I guess this means everyone will find out about my crush now. <laughs> I, I came here because I wanted to give some Cecilia's to the girl I love. They'll really suit her. She's... No, 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 no one asked. Please, do not subject us to your gushing about your girlfriend. Uh, oh, uh, you saw right through me. Do you still remember the time I, uh, um, collaborated with a certain Miss Ying R? Well, basically, she helped me out a lot with my research into potion making once, and, well, we've stayed in touch through letters ever since. Wait! So Ying R is the girl from Leela that Sucrose mentioned earlier? We always assumed you were hard at work every time we saw you at the crafting bench. So you've just been writing letters to Ying R the whole time? Uh, no, I mean, not all the time. I've done some work too. A and anyway, our correspondence covers a lot of serious topics, like perfumes, potions, alchemy. Anyway, a few months ago, I made a vow to the heavens that I will be true to myself and never utter an insincere word until the day that I've managed to win Miss Ying R's heart. So, at Star Snatch Cliff, you were picking Cecilia's as a gift for Ying R? Well, that's right. The Cecilia flower is said to represent a once wayward heart transformed by the power of love. I couldn't think of a better flower to give than that. I know full well that Miss Ying R is far more knowledgeable than I in both the ways of the world and the ways of our craft, but I thought I should make the effort for once and put myself out there. <clears throat> Which brings me to the subject of the last few days and the Windbloom Festival. I thought it was time for me to invite Miss Ying R to Mondstadt. But yesterday, Albedo told me that Sucrose has been working hard to help another girl achieve her dream. <gasps> and when I went to take a look at our roster, I saw that she'd done my remaining work for me. I feel incredibly guilty. I've been spending all of my time in my own fantasy world while everyone else has been bending over backwards to help other people. How could I ever hope to be worthy of Miss Ying R's love if I'm so selfish? Oh, Timaeus. And that's why I've decided to join you. But then what about Ying R? Yeah, haven't you been planning this for over a month now? You said you were going to invite her to Mondstadt. Uh, well, yes, I, I did mention in my letters that I'd like her to visit, which is why I just sent her another gift with my hand-picked wind blooms, along with a handwritten letter. I explained that a matter of great importance has presented itself to which I must devote my full attention for the time being. 
As soon as it's resolved, I'll make haste to Liyue to pick her up in person. I made sure to package the gift and letter with the greatest care. All I can do now is hope that she'll understand. Well, that aside, Timaeus, you still need to go to Liyue to apologize to Yingar, right? Do you want Kale and I to accompany you? Oh, Miss Yingar. Well, uh, I mean, I just really don't want her to get mad at me. Now that I've come back to my senses, oh, I really don't know what I should do. Hey, you three? You may want to look over there. Huh? M Miss Ying R? Oh, so that's Miss Ying R? I've never met her before. Yep, that's her. And she actually came all the way to Mondstadt. I, I am so sorry, Miss Ying R. But, but how did you... Uh, I mean... <laughs> Are you so happy just to see me? I, uh, of course I am. I'm so happy that uh, I don't, uh, sorry, I, I don't know what to say. I was ready to give you a harsh scolding, but now that I've seen you like this, I suppose I could let you off the hook this time. You said you couldn't come to pick me up because of a very important matter, right? Well then, of course I had to come and find you instead. <laughs> Should we go see how they're doing? Why wouldn't? You'll get hit by a forest boar if you interrupt a couple's romantic conversation. Oh, really? Uh, we'll just leave them alone then. Am, am I? Am I dreaming? Uh, Miss Ying Art, you really came all the way to Mondstadt to see me? Why were you willing to make the trip? I still can't believe it. <laughs> Why wouldn't I want to come see you, hmm? It's not like a quick trip from Liyue to Mondstadt is completely unheard of or anything. Also, isn't it time for you to drop the miss and just call me Yingar? Oh, Yingar. Mm hmm. Yingar. <laughs> I, I, I think I still need some time to get used to calling you that. <laughs> Look at you, already so flustered. And we're just getting started. Uh, no, no, I, uh. I... Uh, I'm just overwhelmed with happiness. Thank you so, so much for coming to see me for Windbloom. <laughs>